uh, hi friends so in my last uh, session what i had uh, gone through uh, is i had created a parent child i had shown how to associate and pass values from parent to a child package and uh, uh, so this was the package that we had referred in so if you have missed out on something uh, please visit uh, my last video so here in this uh, session what i am going to through uh, going through is how to create the package uh, dts config file so that we can make uh, the configuration changes in the runtime uh, i mean before running in other different uh, platforms and basically what i want to show is how to deploy packages the most important uh, thing is uh, in sql server and uh, so we can deploy packages in two ways either a file system deployment or an msdb deployment can be achieved uh, so what i uh, will do with this package now it is in the same state as it was in the last video session so i will create uh, package configurations a new package configuration will have to be activated so i do it and i I create parent child package configuration and save it and say next and uh, it will prompt for what all values you want to configure so here we just want to configure the uh, server name on which we want to search the table so we'll say server name value and the table name we want uh, the table name to be read from the dts config file initially the rest of the values seems to be good for us so we'll configure these two values and we'll say finish and we'll close it that's all next for creating uh, the deployment utility what i want to uh, what you have to do here is create on click on the solution go to the properties and in the deployment utility create deployment utility option you have to enable that saying true and you say apply and say okay so the next time you try to build your package you just say build this will create a deployment utility so where is that going to happen you can find this path and click We'll be trying to fetch this uh, folder where we have all the solution uh, of of this package present. It's still working. right so this is the solution uh, of of this package so in the bin you will have you will find a deployment folder so this is the deployment folder is all the related uh, stuffs that uh, this uh, that are required for deployment of this package so what all we have here is a child package the parent package the package manifest deployment manifest and the config file so the config file will be used by these packages I mean whatever values we have given so let's open this in internet explorer we'll find so this is opening your uh, config file so what you will see here is the server name uh, variable the value is configured value is present here and you have the table name the configured value is present here we can actually 
this value this is the value of your table name that you will you want to look for and this is the server instance so those are the two configurable values in your uh, dts config file so we'll close this and this is the important deployment manifest which will help you to deploy your package in the file system on an msdb format wherever you want to uh, install your package too so we'll see how this uh, installation can be done so for installation let's uh, if you want to edit the server and stuff let's just we have already seen you how do you edit it I just want to show you open this in the notepad and uh, if you want any alterations you can simply change the value by typing it here and uh, and changing it here maybe so let's I'm just going to change this uh, server instance from second to my default so and save it okay so now I'll start deployment if, with these four files you can uh, deploy uh, this package on any of the servers so I'll just start my deployment double click on this manifest say yes this will lead you to the installation package wizard you can say next it will ask for SQL server or uh, file system deployment with SQL server deployment this package is going to be stored on your MSDB that is the MSDB database of your SQL server so that will again result uh, your SQL server I mean it will be a burden on the SQL server with file system it will simply point to the path I mean the SQL server will remember the path for running this package so let's uh, I'll show you both of them let's for this time go with file system deployment I'll I'll keep the package maybe where do I keep it okay maybe on the SQL okay let me just create a new folder I've created a new folder with SSIS and So I'll point to the SSIS folder and say OK. So this is the place where my this package is going to be installed. I click on next. Start installation. It will start uh, installing the package. Before, uh, since you have a DTS config, you just open the property. I mean and check for the values configured whatever changes you have made in your uh, dts config file before uh, the installation should be reflecting here so it was uh, i have changed to, uh, to my default instance so that's fine so i am okay with these two values just remember to uh, validate them while installation so next we are almost finished so we are done now so let's just go to the path where uh, we have installed our package too uh, so we have what we have here is child parent and the package uh, uh, config file so uh, now if I have to run uh, run this package how do I do it uh, in that case I'll have to create a SQL job so let's just see that how do we do it uh, Okay. I'll create a new job.
so integration service package and here you will say file system so you have to browse to the path where you have kept the file So you will call the parent package as the child will be called by the parent itself. So the first package of the, uh, that is going to be triggered. So we will call the parent and we should be good for present uh, demo. We will just say an OK and we say an OK. So what we have is a parent child package uh, SQL job. So I'm truncating this uh, whatever data is there and rerunning the package. So I'm running the SQL job presently. So this job will run uh, run the package from the path where we have installed. So that is successful now. So if we go and check so we have found EMP in these two uh, databases so that got populated now what we want to do is we want uh, this installation uh, uh, with an MSDB also so let's also uh, try to install in msdb format so if we have again we'll go to the deployment manifest double click it and choose msdb this time for installation right so we'll uh, install it on my default instance package path this will use the SSIS package okay by default path we say next again it will ask it will look for the values right so this time let's just change the value to something else for DTS config we'll update it to maybe a second instance or something okay. Okay. so we have done it to second instance closing it and for installation once I go back and I click next so it will ok let me just rerun this once again so that it pulls up the latest value of the changes that we have done so install we'll use SQL server install it say ok next right so we can see the change the server name has been updated we say next and we say finish so with this what we how this can be validated so what I do is I click on integration services on my default instance where I have installed I should be able to see the package in my MSDB so if you see there is a package the parent and the child packages have been installed now 
so the next thing is to create a SQL job so let's just create a SQL job again for running this package we say new job name the server this will prompt me I'll start the parent package and I'll click OK and that's all I need to say so now if we run the package it should be pulling up the data for EMP table from this uh, second instance so I start job this is successful so if I go and check we can see the second instance data has also been fetched for this table right so we are good